Our devotional today is from the Epistle to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 3 to 8. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, didn't consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant, and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Amen. Humility is the main characteristic of God's children. Jesus Christ our Lord commanded us in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 11, saying, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus is giving us the way to live in rest. If we want to live in peace and to have rest in this life, we must learn from him to be lowly in heart and humble. Humility is a mind that is set on Christ with submission to the will of God. When we submit ourselves to Him, He will come to us in the Holy Spirit and fill us with His humbleness. As fallen humans, we want to be in control of everything and everyone around us all the time. This trait is the cause of our unhappiness because we cannot control people around us or the circumstances surrounding us as we think we can. So, we end up depressed and furious all the time. St. Paul says that we cannot be selfless if we do not humble ourselves. We cannot esteem others better than ourselves unless we submit our hearts and minds to Christ our Lord who he himself is humble. He, being in the form of God, didn't consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men. Jesus is the spirit of modesty. When we submit ourselves and unite with him in the Holy Spirit, he will give us the power and the ability to be selfless and humble. We cannot do it alone. Jesus himself said to us to come to him, and he will give us all what we need to live in peace, love, and rest. He is not only our example, but our power to fulfill his commandments, which through him, we find it easy and light to do. Amen.